Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be showing you how an aeroponic hydroponic system works. One of the more advanced hydroponic systems available, the concept of aeroponics is the exact opposite of a water culture system in that instead of submerging the roots in water and then supplementing with air, aeroponics suspends the roots in the air and then supplements with water. This is typically provided in two ways, either filling the root system with a nutrient-rich fog produced by a vaporizer, or through misters that spray a fine mist on the roots. Either way, by having the roots suspended in the air, the plant will get the maximum amount of oxygen available, and combined with the nutrient-rich micro droplets of water, maximizes the growth rate of a plant, while also helping to limit the formation and spread of pathogens. Without the use of a grow medium, the roots have more space to expand out. However, without the buffer of a grow medium, any problem that arises will rapidly harm the roots. If any part of the system clogs in an aeroponic setup, the roots will dry up significantly faster than if it was in a grow medium. If the temperature spikes, there's nothing shielding the roots from burning up or freezing. This makes aeroponics one of the least forgiving hydroponic setups available. Although when done right, the system will rival that of any hydroponic system in terms of growth. As for how this process works, aeroponics works best if starting with a seedling or cutting, as generally the misters and fog can't reach a seed to germinate it. You'll want to make sure that the roots, or stem if you're starting with a cutting, is reachable by the misters or vaporized water and you can either store the nutrient water in the plant tray along with the plant or a separate water reservoir. If the nutrient water is in the same tray as the plant, if the roots grow large enough to reach the nutrient-rich water, you'll need to include an air stone and air pump to keep the bottom of the roots from drowning. And by this point, you might want to just convert the entire system into a deep water culture system as the roots can disrupt and cover a vaporizer, and if it can reach the water pump, it can clog that as well. If there's a separate water reservoir collecting the runoff water, then that won't be an issue. Although if the roots get too large and dense, you'll need to make sure that the water is still able to reach all of the root mass so that part of it doesn't dry out. Because of this, Aeroponics is more often used for leafy greens with short growth cycles and smaller root masses, like lettuce. Although for hemp, it is very commonly used for the beginning life cycle of a plant, especially when it comes to cloning, because of how efficient it is at successfully propagating new cuttings, and because of how quickly the system is able to promote root growth in a small space allowing for easy transplanting to other grow mediums. But with the right setup and a little more work, or by combining both aeroponics with a water culture setup, it's a viable option to use for the entire life cycle of a hemp plant. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.